Chapter 6 Verbs Expressing Simple Future and Future Continuous Tense A. Simple Future Tense Look at the following sentences. I shall go to Delhi tomorrow. The teacher will teach us a new lesson today. They will come here next month. The verbs in these sentences are in the simple future tense. B. Formation of sentences First, subject plus shall will plus first form of verb, affirmative. Second, subject plus shall will plus not plus first form of verb, negative. Third, shall will plus subject plus first form of verb, interrogative. Fourth, shall will plus subject plus not plus first form of verb, interrogative negative. Look at the table below for different types of sentences with different subjects. Affirmative, negative, interrogative, interrogative negative. I shall go, I shall not go, shall I go, shall I not go, we shall go, we shall not go, shall we go, shall we not go, you will go, you will not go, will you go, will you not go, he will go, he will not go, will he go, will he not go, she will go, she will not go. Will she go? Will she not go? It will go. It will not go. Will it go? Will it not go? They will go. They will not go. Will they go? Will they not go? This table shows how the formation of different types of sentences with different subjects in the simple future tense is to be done. See, uses of simple future tense. This tense is used First, to express an action which begins at a certain future moment. I shall do this work at 7 a.m. tomorrow. He will come here on Sunday. Note, we can use with with all persons. With first person pronouns, we may use shall instead of will. Short forms, will shall equals apostrophe double L. Will not equals won't. Shall not equals shan't. A. I will or we will are used with the idea of intention, determination or promise. I will play here. We will vote for you. B. In the same way, shall is often used with second and third person pronouns in the sense of promise or threat as You shall get from me anything you want. You shall not leave this place until you are allowed. C. Shall I, shall we are very often used in begin to begin offers to help or suggestion. Shall I serve you cold drinks? Shall we go on a picnic? D. Some other ways of expressing the future. First, use of simple present to express a series of intended or planned actions in the future. Our cricket team leaves for Mumbai this evening. They play two matches in Mumbai. They play one at Pune. They return next Monday. Second, use of present continuous tense to express a future event. Usually the time is mentioned in such sentences, which is in the near future. The Prime Minister is going to Russia next month. The college team is playing a football match with the town team next Sunday. Note, the verbs go and come, however, can be used without any time expression. We are going for a walk. Are you coming with us? Third, A. Use of am, is, are plus going to plus verb to express the subject's intention to perform a future action. I am going to buy a bicycle. If he doesn't apologize, I am going to dismiss him from service. B. Going plus to verb is also used to express the speaker's certainty about an event in the near future. This certainty is based on some present indication. Example, look at these dark clouds. It is going to rain. The boy has eaten a lot. He is going to be sick, I am afraid. Mrs. Kapoor is going to have a baby. Fourth, the construction be about to plus verb expresses events whose happening is imminent that is which are likely to happen in a very short while as the train is about to leave. The chief minister is about to speak. Fifth, the form B plus 2 plus first form of verb is used to express a duty or necessity or planned course of action in the future as 
I am to be a meeting at five o'clock. There is to be an inquiry into the railway accident. He is to preside over this year's school sports meet. E. Future continuous tense. Look at these sentences. One. I shall be waiting for you tomorrow morning. Two. She will be performing on the stage at this time next Monday. Three. She will be coming here this evening. Four. He will be living in his new house by next year. The verb in these sentences are in the future continuous tense. This tense is used to express an action that will be in progress at some point of time in future. F. Formation of sentences. First, subject plus shall will plus be plus first form of verb plus ing. Affirmative. Second, subject plus shall will plus not be plus first form of verb plus ing. Negative. Third, shall will plus subject plus be plus first form of verb plus ing. Interrogative. Fourth, shall will plus subject plus not be plus first form of verb plus ing. Interrogative negative. Look at the table below for different types of sentences with different subjects. Affirmative, negative, interrogative, interrogative negative. I shall be working. I shall not be working. Shall I be working? Shall I not be working? We shall be working. We shall not be working. Shall we be working? Shall we not be working? You will be working. You will not be working. Will you be working? Will you not be working? He will be working. He will not be working. Will he be working? Will he not be working? She will be working. She will not be working. Will she be working? Will she not be working? It will be working. It will not be working. Will it be working? Will it not be working? They will be working. They will not be working. Will they be working? Will they not be working? This table shows how the formation of different types of sentences with different subjects in the simple future tense is to be done. G. Uses of future continuous tense. This tense is used 1. To express action, events that will be in progress at a given point of time in the future. Examples When I reach Shimla, it will be snowing there. At this time tomorrow, you will be flying to Australia. Second, to express an action, event that is accepted to take place in the normal course. Examples My sister will be taking the BA examination next year. Some new books will be arriving in the library to